to apply for the program, we had to first do an online application where we would write about different things and about ourselves and why we believed we should participate in NYSF. Then we had to attend a Zoom conference call, um, which was an interview with a Rotarian and one of the previous NYSF students. So my NYSF experience was the, being able to meet a heap of wonderful people who have a career in science or who are starting a career in science and learning from them how I can better myself to go into this field. NYSF this year was an experience, to say something. It was a bit daunting, challenging with being online and going to interviews every day for many hours at a time. Still really enjoyable, got a lot out of it. Um, I remember when I, for the first time when I heard about NYSF, it was in 2018. One of um, a girl I knew, she attained NYSF and that year. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then she recommended me that I have to take this opportunity and never miss it. My favourite virtual event that I attended would have been one of the pracs. We got uh, cold bananas and cold methylated spirits and we ended up extracting banana DNA, which was really cool and it was so interesting to play with and it was really fun. I guess one of the events that stuck out for me was being able to meet with people who work in Switzerland at the Large Hadron Collider and hearing about their experience from people, not just from Switzerland, but from across the world who've gone to work over there, hearing about how, what they do and how they got into that field of study. One of the events that left an impression on me was the supercomputer that we got to have a tour of, virtually obviously, due to the COVID and all. But uh, we talked to different technicians and management of the supercomputer. They went through how it worked, how all the things are networked together, how the maintenance is done and what it's doing to better the world. Um, there was a doctor, um, I think a doctor or professor, he was teaching in um, Queensland, UK, Queensland University and um, I think I found him really amazing because he did one experiment of DNA extraction and, and we also followed um, the steps in our own uh, space and that was amazing. There was no one speaker which really stood out to me. However, I really enjoyed the different speakers and what they would talk about and it sort of opened my eyes to see the different sorts of uh, career pathways I could go into which I never really considered. Speakers from Questacon who work in science communication, they were very informative and spoke in a way that was easy to understand and easy to become interested in very quickly in the Zoom. They talked about their um, research stories and what it takes uh, to win a Nobel Prize uh, for their excellent work in STEAM. Um, some of the ways that we kept in contact and communicated with the other students would be through the Facebook group. The buddy you have as well was one method. The other would have been a Discord made by some of the students where we would all get together, talk, chat about what's happening, during the different calls. I connected with other participants through unofficial NYSF 2021 group chats. Um, I made friends through talking through servers and getting to know people. So through Facebook and other social media sites, we were able to meet with other students who had very similar interests to us and even students who were completely different to learn about what they were interested in and why that was so interesting for them. Uh, they were also interested in science and we could share um, each other, uh, share our uh, perspective about science and what we want to do and things like that. It was, it was really good, yeah. Because the experience was online, it was quite tiring, but I managed to get the motivation through friends that I made through the program, which was definitely one of the best things that happened. NYSF helped me understand that even though I don't know what I want to do in the future, it doesn't matter and that just following my passions I can find a career and I can be successful wherever I end up. So I believe that NYC gave me a broad, um, a broad understanding of um, diverse study and what science has to offer and give me more options in a way considering my career um, pathways. So after finishing my year 12, I would like to do um, biomedical science and yeah, I think that's amazing, yeah.
I would recommend for every single person, especially those who are interested in STEAM. I would love to get involved as an alumni. I think it would be amazing to get to do in-person events or even work for NYSF to help other students younger than me get a great experience with NYSF. Rotary International is a founding partner with the NYSF and we're very proud of that connection uh, to help our future scientists and community leaders. It's an important process. The Rotary Clubs in Bendigo, for instance, have an information session for the students and their parents. Um, and most of the Rotary Clubs will help to provide some financial support to successful students who go through the application process. This does vary um, from club to club, but it's uh, essential that the students who are applying actually get the endorsement of a Rotary Club for their online application. This is absolutely essential as a first step. And then we're very happy to assist the students and work with the parents to go through the process and encourage them to achieve this absolutely fantastic life-changing experience that is National Youth Science Forum. Thank you.